Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Ever since this brand new update dropped, you guys have been asking me to test out the 7mm at a much longer distance. And well, considering one of our giveaway winners as of recent had the same idea, I figured this would be the perfect time to do it. So, we are going to be taking the 7mm bolt action to the top of the Silver Ridge Peaks Mountains and doing some long range sniping. For those of you that didn't know, if you go to the top of the mountain, you can actually see farther than normal. It's something to do with how the render distance works in this game, if you can see right here. Uh, it says we are 269 meters away from that waypoint, but if you go onto the map and hover over it, it's actually 254. That's because we are slightly elevated above where that piece of land is. Now, the toughest part is going to be just getting some animals to cross uh, down in this area near Sun Sisters. There used to be a lot of mountain goats that would drink here, but when they removed the drink time for them, it made it a lot more difficult to get anything over here. But it looks like we do have some bighorn, and uh, that is going to be the first thing that we take down. Is that... No way. That, that could be a diamond level four. Okay, that is insane, and this is not even going to be a very long-range shot either, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but... Still, maybe we can wait for him to move a bit further away and then take the shot. So I think we're going to have to use a, another trick here to try and get ourselves up high enough to not only get a better view of it, but also to uh, get a little bit further away. Let's see if we can see it from here. That's him right there. So he is getting much further away at this point if we check where we spotted him. That is approximately 246 meters on the map, but if we look at him uh, from right here, you guys saw it was like 350, which is definitely a considerably uh, further distance than what it shows on the map. So we're gonna wait until he gets about there, maybe a little bit further, and then take the shot. I'm also gonna try and shoot the other one if it gives us a good angle, because I really want to uh, have as many chances as we can to make a vital hit from here. Okay, there is our opportunity. That guy is over 420 meters away. Let's see if we can try to get him to stop. I hope that lands near him, and it actually did. That could not have gone better. Let's try to get lined up on him. This is a tough shot to make, but maybe we can do it. We're gonna have to give him a little bit of uh, extra compensation for bullet drop. But I think we should be able to hit this shot if we are uh, timing it properly. Okay, second shot looked like it might have hit. I mean, it definitely hit. And I think it was a single lung shot. But I guess we'll see. You know, I had completely forgot that you really don't need to compensate as much as I thought because the elevation kind of uh, takes uh, a little bit of that away. Like right there, that was not even compensated for hardly at all. And it looks like we still managed to get the vitals as far as I can tell. Honestly, I have no idea if we managed to hit the vitals there. I'm just gonna claim it and then we'll kind of let that be the deciding factor. I hope we did. It looked like it was good. Both of those shots killed them about the same speed. So I'm just going to assume we did hit vitals and ooh, okay, that's not good. That's an intestine shot, but it was from 446 meters away. So already we have passed the render distance or at least the normal render distance, but we haven't even got it out as far as it could go. I'm very nervous to claim this guy. I got a feeling that if this was a diamond, it's no longer one, and yeah, oh, that would have been a diamond. Oh, no. Well, that, is that even the angle we shot it at? I don't know, but we just absolutely destroyed a, a diamond. In the name of science, at least. I guess that's the, the one little uh, upside to this, but still, that's, that's pretty rough. We just absolutely demolished a diamond raiding bighorn sheep. What is going on today? That is actually more rare than that diamond level four that we just killed. This is a level three female with bigger horns than what you really ever see on the female bighorn. This is incredibly rare. We need to try and take this thing down as soon as we possibly can. Well, let's try this right here and that should be a solid hit. Looks like it actually dropped on the spot, so just another showcase of the power of the 7mm. Really curious if this is going to be close to the max weight that a female bighorn can get. And it is, 100 kgs. That is a max weight female bighorn. Uh, believe it or not, the males and females actually do have different max and minimum weights. This right here is max weight for a female bighorn. And as you can see, it looks quite a bit more impressive than the normal female bighorn do. 
Honestly, that is probably the coolest thing that we've shot in a couple weeks, so we're going to tax that. That is really awesome. But one of the biggest concerns I've seen people have with the 7mm is the fact that it only has three rounds, and I can definitely see why that could be seen as a problem. This definitely will not be my main grinding rifle for, like, great one grinds, but if I'm just doing a hunt like this, or if I'm in multiplayer, or hunting a species that I'm not really grinding super hardcore, this is definitely going to be my go-to weapon. Because it's not only a lot of fun, it sounds really good, and it's just really powerful. Well, in an attempt to find some really cool long-range uh, targets, I just realized I have accidentally scaled the highest mountain in all of Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, without even realizing it until I got up here and started looking around, noticing that we are indeed at the highest point on the entire map, which is honestly pretty cool. If we could possibly find something from up here, that would just be amazing. So as we can see right here, this guy is roughly 460 meters away. This will be our longest attempted shot on the day, if I'm not mistaken, and it is on a level 2 Rocky Mountain Elk. Let's see if we can possibly get this guy down. I am going to have to do the 22 trick and hope that it lands near him. Yep, that is going to do the trick. Let's see if we can sink a shot into this beauty right here. Okay, so I had to move a little bit. That 22 trick actually made him walk out of render because we were right on the edge of uh, where he would render in. Let, let's just try this. That looked like a hit, but the question is, was it a vital hit? We may not know for a little bit. This guy is not quite as far, but still a lot farther than the average shot would be taken at, so we will go ahead and take him down. I think that was about 430 meters, maybe 440 if I'm not mistaken, so a little bit of a longer shot. We will see if it connected good. Well, it turns out we did not get the first one, but the second one we did get a nice vital hit into, and it was from 440 meters so yeah this is a fun way that you can get a little bit of an increased render distance for some uh, crazy shots without being uh, somebody that downloads mods or cheats because uh, as y'all know we don't like those here there also is one more method that you can use in call of the wild to extend your render distance out a little bit further however it does involve the use of multiplayer and a friend so we will save that for another video but uh, this has been quite a bit of fun so far. So I think this is one of those situations where we're going to have to shoot one of these to get the rest of them moving. That way they can be a little bit further away. Because this is just over 300 meters, which means it's not exactly an impressive shot. So we need them to spook and run quite a bit farther away from us. Was hoping they would go down, but it seems they went up instead. Well, this is still a pretty long range shot, I believe. So we will attempt to hit that. Two shots and uh, we finally got one into it. This really is one of the things that you will run into quite a bit when doing this is just trying to figure out what type of bullet drop each shot is going to have because that elevation uh, definitely throws things off a little bit as well as just being farther away than what you normally would be taking shots at in the Hunter Call of the Wild. It can definitely take a bit of practice to get good enough to consistently make these 450 meter shots. There we go. This is exactly what I was hoping for. We actually do have a mountain goat resting zone right out there. This is going to be about the best thing we could possibly have asked for. I think we're actually going to have to try and get them to stop real quickly because uh, they are moving away. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Second time is the charm in that situation. Again, that is the toughest part about this entire thing is just figuring out the drop that you uh, need to compensate for because... As you just saw, we aimed the same on that second one, and it actually completely missed. And then the first one, we nailed it on shot number two. So you definitely got to really get used to how things work with the whole uh, zeroing distances. So here we have what is probably our most successful shot of the day. Let's get a good look at this mountain goat right here that we took from 447 meters. That was a lot of bullet drop. Even with the, uh, the elevation kind of working in your favor, I guess Call of the Wild really doesn't do elevation the way it is in real life. Like a lot of times if you're up really high, you actually don't have to compensate quite as much, but it seems like you really still do in Call of the Wild. This is actually the mountain goal that we took at about 330 meters. A lot easier to hit a shot like that as you would expect. And 
Yeah, it really looks like that hit about where I would have expected it to if we were shooting at 330 meters, 0 to 300 from like a normal flat angle. So yeah, I, I do believe there is absolutely no effect on the trajectory of the bullet when you're up high. So you are going to have to compensate quite a bit. And I think the first couple shots that I took where I thought you didn't, it's possible that we just shot under it and thought that we shot above it. Uh, what is she doing? She's kind of just chilling there. And honestly, that is a pretty big female mountain goat. They don't really get that big that often. And they uh, certainly tank a lot, though. It just never fails to amaze me at how often I learn new things in Call of the Wild. Like, for the longest time, I thought I had it down in terms of how the uh, ballistics worked in this game. And I didn't actually realize that elevation has no effect at all. So, I guess you learn something new every day, as I said. Well, unfortunately, because I reset the time, we don't have the blood from the other ones that I had shot over here. So, we're not going to be able to find those as they were not vitally hit. But I think that is going to be a good place to wrap it up. Let me know what you guys thought of this down in the comments below. Let me know if you're going to try it out for yourself and whether or not this is a cool uh, thing that you can do in the game. Let me know all of it and I will, of course, respond to as many of the comments as I can. Thank you all for being here, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!